just uh, just revise for the first uh, five to ten minutes only about encapsulation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So encapsulation is a mechanism of wrapping the data and variable code uh, that is acting on a data together into a single unit. Okay. So in mm -hmm. encapsulation, we're gonna have all the variables and data binded within the single unit and adding on to this the variables of the class will be hidden so if you have any variable that variable can only be accessed or changed or manipulated or updated only those all kind of operations can only be done inside the class and in order to achieve that in encapsulation we have access modifiers which are public private and protected okay so uh, yeah can you tell me what are the uh, like what do private public and protected mean so private is when you use two underscores in the variable it means okay. you can only access the variable in the class it's defined in yep uh, protected is used with one underscore and you can only use it when it's in the class it was defined in or if it's uh, in through super. Yes, like defined in or it should have a base class when it could inherit the properties from the parent class. Mm -hmm. Okay. And public doesn't so have... Any... Yeah, go on. Public doesn't Sorry, have... No, no, sorry. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, yeah, go on. So, uh, public is doesn't have any underlines, and you can access it from anywhere. Yes. Awesome. So those are your access modifiers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you tell me when do we use getter and setter methods? Um. You use it to um. Uh, you use it to set one. Mm -hmm. You use it to set one variable. Okay. Okay. Uh, to put it, yeah. The getter means you have. You use the, you get the variable. Okay, so just to like put it in simple words, you can uh, understand understand or tell it like the getter method acts like a summary kind of a thing. Wherein, if you well, like summary kind of a thing, so what do we do in summary? We just print the values, right? Print the values that the object contains. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that can be treated as a getter method. And your setter method is something wherein if we need to update that particular variable, we can always use the setter methods. Okay. Understood? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, next we have. Yes, so this was an example for encapsulation. And then what else? Okay. Okay, so in the, uh, we solved all these, right? Employer timekeeping and product inventory as well. In the last class, this took a lot of time, correct? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I hope you have understood the working of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Okay, so here, I think. Okay. So in this program, can you just tell me what are uh, public variables and private variables and protected variables? Just scan so, the program once and just let me know. So self.name is a public variable. Okay. A self.age is a protected variable. Okay. Next. And self.id is a private variable. Private. 
Okay. Now, um, what is this uh, program trying to do? Or what is this Python file trying to do? So, it is trying to set a student ID. Hmm? In set student ID, it's making a student ID. It's defining self okay. dot ID. Yes, correct. And then it's getting the student ID. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, it's basically getting the student details and printing it, correct? Like mm -hmm. if you see the main program, it is just getting the student details and then adding the student ID, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then printing it. Okay, so I want you to just scan through and uh, tell me if I execute this program, what output can I get? Uh, yeah, you can ask like if you have any doubts, like if you want to know what this function does, I'll explain you. All right, but mm -hmm. I uh I want you to like just like understand the flow of the program and try to guess like what could be the output. If I execute this, what do I see in this console screen? I want you to guess that, or I want you to answer that query. So this is your class and the functional methods inside the class, right? Mm -hmm. So now in the main program, all the execution happens, correct? So mm -hmm. from here, your main program starts. And next, what is line number 23 doing? Uh, line number 23 is making a student. Yes, so it's basically creating an object. Good. So line 23 is just creating an object. Okay. I think line number 24 to 26, it's pretty, like it's pretty like naked to the eye. What is it doing? Just printing the details, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So we are here. Some printing is happening. Okay. First, now student name is printed, student age, and in line number 27, it's getting the student ID. Yes. So, what is the student ID here? The student ID, oh, there's no student ID. Exactly. So, our output would be? Uh, none. Exactly. Okay, so now from line number 25 to 27, can you just tell me what all the outputs would be? Uh, John. Yeah. 15. And Good. None. So with that, you would also have student name as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. So your output would look oh. something like student name equals John. Correct? Yeah. And then... Uh, Student age equals how much is it? 15? Yeah. Yeah. 15. And next, student ID would equal to mm, none. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So now we are done with these three statements, right? Okay, next. What is happening in line number 21? Oh, sorry, line number 29. It's setting the student ID to one, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Okay. Now again in from line number 31, some printing is happening, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. So how would the print statements look now? How would the output look? Uh, student name is John. Yeah. Student age is 15. Mm -hmm. And then student ID is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes. Very good. 